He has come at last. <laughs> Have a ride. Young Skywalker. <laughs> Spongebob. And that's how the live stream starts. Gosh, I miss Robot Chicken. I miss when I found Robot Chicken universally funny. I don't... The older I got, the less I found it funny. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> This did not age well. It's fine. Anyways, hello everybody. Welcome to session number twenty-four. We're now we're now along with Jack Bauer, uh, of of Calistrong's finest. I'm Chibi Joe, the DM, and I'm joined here. With a bunch of people who totally don't make me want to pull what little hair I remain out. Totally. Yep. Time set. Everyone's happy hunky dory. Mm -hmm. For now. Oh no. Ah, it's fine. So Is how's it? Every hmm? Is it? Is it really fine? I mean, it will be for me. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> the orphan will be safe, though. Okay, that's all I care about. Yep. I feel like that's what a lot of people care about. And kelp will be safe for now. Why would you say that? Why would you? Why would? Why would you? Why would you say that? I mean, I can roll. I can roll to see if he's safe. <laughs> roll. Okay, I'm rolling now. <laughs> You're you're going so loud. Discord's not letting you yeah. say it. <laughs> There's something to say, bro. When I want to do high pitch voices, it never wants to go through. <laughs> I know, or when I want to scream into the abyss. Uh, this doesn't this doesn't get heard. Uh, I have no idea what color of dice I'm using. I'm hoping it's the purple kind. Oh my gosh! Because the purple kind, I get nat twenties. One of my favorite characters, and his fate's decided by a purple dice. Well, to maybe. be fair, to be fair, the dice that I roll are also purple, and they've randed me a critical hit on every Zephyr Strike, so I understand that purple may be the color. <laughs> my purple dice suck, oh, and I'll say it right no. here. <laughs> the purple dice. It's a nap one. <laughs> He's dead! Well, shit. I quit. I quit the game. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Not kelp. <laughs> Not kelp anyone but kelp. Oh. What about Dell? What about Dell? Oh. <laughs> Who's Any Dell? Anyways. Um. Last week, you guys fought hill giants. That's pretty much all you did. We summoned a zoo. And summoned a fucking zoo. <laughs> Wonder who that could have been. My bad. <laughs> you ruined the ecosystem. Oh no, though. For real though, uh, last last week's fight was probably the most interesting I've ever dealt with. Um. So, uh, yeah. Uh, are there any thoughts and concerns that I can ignore? Usually. Usually? I've, I've been somewhat courteous to you. No. I told my mind is too empty to I gave, have any concerns. I gave Evelyn an orphan. That sounds really <laughs> bad out loud. <laughs> But yeah, rethink that one, Chief. 
DM, thanks a lot for the responsibility. Don't forget to feed them twice a day. Oh, twice! <laughs> Listen, man. Food's rough to get by in the wild. You know, probably. Meanwhile, you're, I tell that to the ranger who finds food very quickly. Oh, Hold on. There you are. Man, I couldn't find yours. You couldn't find me. Yeah, I couldn't find you. Alright. So! After that, you guys uh, uh, shuffled back, tired, spent, and exhausted. While uh, Valerian stayed behind to protect the cart. And, uh... We're gonna start this one a little bit differently instead of starting you exactly where I want the story to start. You guys are sitting around a campfire that night. You hear wolves howling in the distance, uh, frogs and, and birds uh, making their nightly calls. I'm going to give you guys some time to role play with each other. Well, since so you mentioned wolves in the distance, I have a feeling Evelyn's, like, borderline hovering over Elowen to make sure she stays put and not adds more to her wolf pack. Right. Evelyn, you smell lovely. So, Thank you. <laughs> Elowen has become a, a swarm keeper ranger without being a swarm keeper ranger, but with wolves. Of course, it's only natural. What is the phase of the moon? Uh, we'll say a waiting gibbous. Wow, fancy. Yeah, I don't know what, where in the cycle that is, but it feels right. It feels like a waiting gibbous kind of night. So, so your so. dream doesn't have to go to a business meeting. You're lucky. <laughs> so, that was certainly a fight earlier. <laughs> I didn't die this time. Yeah, that, that, that's a perk. Haven't had that happen in a while. I mean, uh, worst comes to worst, I got this uh, scroll of Revify. Oh, you're so sweet. Speaking of... Uh... Fuck, why can't I remember her name? What? Ander. And or yes. hey, uh, listen, I saw you using your spells earlier. Um, truth be told, I don't want to be the only person who has the ability to pick these guys up if they go down. So I'm going to hand over my scroll of Revify over to him. So at least he has the ability to revive someone if I'm out. Cool. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Just, um, yeah. Uh, word of advice. If she goes down and she's pointing at Elowen, you might just get me for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Uh, and... I'm just going to look at Evelyn and be like, you didn't even have to point. <laughs> uh huh. I found this for you, actually. Um, and she's going to very, like, lackadaisically hand over a note to him. I saw it actually close to Steve. Not sure if the note was meant for you or not, but it seemed to reek of being addressed to an Ornean. I will cautiously grab the note. Okay, I will send you what the note says. <laughs> And DM, I will send you what the note says. Beautiful. <laughs> Steve, did you get any other notes? Steve hits his bongos questioningly. 
<laughs> I guess not. Oh wait, I gotta go check it with Dell. Hang on. Uh, and then I just kind of start tuning in to the message moth that around Dell. <laughs> ah, feedback. <laughs> I don't even know these How's things can have feedback. Yeah, you get used to it. How's it going over there? <laughs> We're still traveling. Smells like horse dung. Yeah. Yeah. You remember back when we first were traveling and we had to deal with those hill giants? Yeah. They came back for round two. Anyone die? Um, they did. Well, I would hope so. Well, I'm glad that you, like, none, none, of, you, none of you, not just you, you, but, like, none, none of you died. I'm bad at this. Oh yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I'm from Wrath. I'm used to yelling at people, not complimenting them. I know. No, uh, gotta go. Kelp just tripped over some horse dung. Uh, okay. I lean over to Elowen. Your husband uh, tripped on some horse dung. I'm uh, not very surprised. That seems pretty shitty. <laughs> Steve does a little with his fucking pong ghost. Does anyone else want to interact with anyone? Uh, I will look over at Elowen and say, thanks for handing this to me. Oh, you're welcome. I suppose it wore Steve out to write it, so. Steve, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it did. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to write him a, a note back. Well, that would be polite. Mm -hmm. Um, Mr. DM. Yes. Sir. Mm -hmm. How much do we know about each other? Uh, about as much as you've told each other. So, like, we wouldn't have been given, like, documents on who we're traveling with or anything. Nope. Gothier just figures out, like, you guys would interact each other with each other eventually. Okie doke. Um, would you say that I would be able to somewhat accurately perceive Elowen's age being an elf myself? You roll a perception check. Shoot. Okay, give me one second. <laughs> I'd say investigation, but there ain't no way Elwin's gonna let you that close to do an investigation check. Absolutely not. <laughs> Let's see, perception. perception. What is my perception? Plus. Oh, there it is. That is a 14. 14? And what is it exactly are you looking for again? Just her age. Her general age. Um, with a 14, you can tell that she is still rather young for an elf. She's an, um, you, I mean, she's an older being, but she's a younger elf. You don't know, like, approximately, like, 200s or whatever, but, uh, you, you know she's younger.
Okay, but I, I don't, I can't get like an exact, or not even an exact. I can't get a lower age. No. Okay. Elves age really slow, so it's really hard to be like, oh, you must be in your two hundreds. Right. Like you're like a middle aged elf is going to be like three thousand years old. So like. You're you're thinking she's probably younger than a thousand. Okay. Yeah. Something I can assist you with, Ander. I, I just want to clarify something, Ellen. What? No part of me wants to touch any part of you. You're not really my type. And I'm going to, like, flick my elf ears. Mmm. Interesting. Thank you, Ander, for clarifying that. Gave you a note, dude. Valerian, how are you? Are you guys quite done talking yet? No, we've just begun now that you're here. Uh. Ugh. Elowen is brooding. Lissandra, like, claps her hands together. Well, I'm going to go to bed because I don't know what we're facing tomorrow and I don't wish to die. So, good night to you all. Good night. Good night. The rest of you can get some rest. I'll take the first night's watch. Well, I was hoping somebody had a good ghost story or something. I have plenty but none of which I wish to share. Zephira, Elena, any folk tales you wish to share? No, I don't have anything. Do you have one you wish to share? Um, perhaps. But I'd have to think about it. Oh, I Elena, I meant to ask you... My father mentioned this badger slaughter in Cenari. They, it's barbaric, really, but you go to this restaurant, you pick a badger, they kill it and fry it in front of you, and you enjoy it with a side of soup and or bread. D is that a real place, or was he pulling my leg? I've personally never heard of it, but I don't know. There are many barbaric restaurants in Cenari. I think there's a few. Mm hmm I don't get out much. <laughs> Got it. Neither do I. Elowen, Elowen's face has just dropped. Her evening is ruined. Evelyn's gonna give her a slight pat pat on the shoulder as she kind of walks off away from like the campfire and towards like we're in like a bit of a wooded area still, right? Yes. As she's gonna go like kind of out slightly outside of camp, like not very far, is like on the outside parts of it, and then kind of prop herself up against a tree and sit down. Steve nestles and on your shoulder. Uh, he does for a moment, because now I'm going to switch my sight over to his eyes and have him just do a fly-around scout. Steve truly is the VIP. Uh, roll for perception. For no reason. Uh, that is... Going to be twenty-five. Okay, well, let me roll for no reason. 
You guys can trust me. Okay. Let me look at my list. Okay. Sorry, fellas. So it's all clear. Um, you do see um, about another three miles to your guys' south. Or not south. Uh, east. Um... That was much as gas station sushi. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You could have seen a Tarasque. Um So, uh, about two or three miles to the uh, east, and you do see um, what looks like to be the remains of a village. Um... You don't currently see any life there. So, like, no lights, no windows, no yeah. nothing. Well, gotcha. there would have to be houses. Oh. I see. Yeah. Like, it's ruined ruins. Like, it's not like your, it's not like your daddy's ruined. It's, it's, it's like new gen ruin. Next gen graphic kind of ruin. As much as uh, Evelyn would love to take a closer look, uh, she's going to keep Steve kind of just flying around more the perimeter of the camp to make sure that there isn't anything that is going to sneak up on us, even though she, he's not seeing anything now. Okay. Um, I will say roll two more perception checks, and we'll just say, like, this will be, like, the percentage of checks for the rest of the night. Seem fair? Sure. Okay, that first one is a 28. Okay. And then the other one's a dirty 20. A dirty 20. Cool. So the 28, um, we'll say this is like about three. And we're, I'm not saying like the rest of you had to fast forward time with us. This is just for the rolls. Okay. I just want to point that out. Uh, about three hours later, you do see um, quite a bit of movement in another clearing that's about mm, a mile to your north. Um, you can't... Like, it's still kind of far enough away. You can't, like, decipher, like, specific little details in the armor. But you do see about five or six people in red cloaks with torches. Um, they're not moving. It seems like they've taken camp up there. Um, and then for your dirty 20, um, you uh, just see a lot of rustling through like trees and bushes all around, which is, could be just normal wildlife. Got you, got you. Yep. So. Is there any other interactions anyone wants to do? I uh, did. Zephira, oh. what do you want to do? <laughs> Zephira asked if anyone has ever felt the need to light someone on fire. Usually. Hmm. I knew I liked you. It's a common occurrence that I light myself on fire. Not Evelyn's good. just whistling to herself as she hears that because she lit the frickin' arena on fire several sessions ago. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Zephira? I was just curious. Huh. Fire's good. Right. Oh, well, oh, okay. Well, I suppose it can be. Well, I guess technically it's not cool, but, you know. That would be correct. So, that is a, a technicality, physics, and all that. Okay. A anyone else? 
after that. That mayor of Moral, we should have lit him on fire. Hmm. Who? Uh, Moral. Did Gothier not give you any documents debriefing you on everything you're walking into? No, he did not. Probably, I, I tend not to read. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Takes away the fun of things. I am disinclined to agree, but I do agree with you. I'm all charisma, baby. Nothing else. <laughs> That's right. Nothing else going through this head. Alrighty. Uh, I think we got enough time for one more interaction before I move forward. All right, one more like series of you. You know what I mean. Unless everyone is done. If everyone is done, everyone's just going to kind of casually use her druid craft to cause the fire just to dim down, fade to black. <laughs> oh, we're going transition here, aren't we? Look at Evelyn here being the cinematographer here. <laughs> she has the best perception. She has. To, they better be worth she's, looking at. <laughs> she's got the best. She's got the best sight of like what looks good in a movie. Yeah, she's right. I mean, right now she has the aerial view. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she could theoretically uh, use a fisheye lens too. True. The spider is still just chilling, and it pisses me off. Anyways, you guys don't care about the DM's life. You just want to see what pain he brings. Oh, well, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> God dang. <laughs> I'm, really dang. Okay, we love you, buddies. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm not a nerdy wizard. Gosh dang. Everyone's bashing everything today. We all woke <laughs> up and chose violence. Which is good. Because so did I. Anyways, you guys all wake up. The crazy Kenku uh, makes you some questionable eggs. Y'all need to keep up your energy! Elowen does not eat them. Can I have Evelyn quickly just kind of go through the woods to see if there's anything that she can get to eat? Sure. Uh, roll survival. <laughs> That is a 16. Uh, there are some edible mushrooms um, that will not make you high. Um, yes. You have some edible mushrooms that will make you high. And yes. uh, you do hear the sounds of uh, rustling deer and turkey. Elowen rolled a 25. For survival? Yes. Uh, you found some mushrooms that you can eat. That won't make you high. You found some mushrooms that you can eat and will get you high. Uh, and you also find um, so, uh, some sprigs of green onion and radishes. She takes them all. Not all of them, but she takes a little of each. Okay. Just in case you want to get high later. Not Elowen. Evelyn is going to pick some of those mushrooms. Yes, both of them. Cool. She will divide. She will divide them up though to make sure like they're not mixed up. Uh, but uh, so can she see like one of those wild turkeys? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. One of the you you, you see it gobble 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 all the way uh, into vision. Uh, uh, 
I would like to yeet my baguette at it. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to have you roll two things. Okay. The first roll will be to hit. The second roll, which would be with the d20, is how cooked it gets. Because <laughs> it does fire damage. So Yeah, so... Okay, so that was a 17 plus 4, so 21 to hit. That hits. <laughs> and what would this cooking check be, even? Because there's this no survival check? <laughs> or what is it? <laughs> you know, we'll is it just a... We'll say it's a survival check. Okay. That is a 14. <laughs> it's decently cooked. It's not a beautiful golden brown, but... You know, it's 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 edible. It's it's edible, and you won't get sick. You're no salmonella today. Perfect. So uh, I want Evelyn to walk back into camp with a pretty okay roasted turkey and some mushrooms. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Lissandra offers to cook uh, the rest of the stuff. Whoever wants their stuff cooked. She gets a nat 20 on cooking, so whoever wants their stuff uh, sautéed or whatever, uh, she's got you back. Evelyn will take both mushrooms. Actually, she'll take just the hallucinogenic ones to uh, Lysandra. Lysandra just goes, are you sure? Quite. Are you okay? Oh, me, I'm fine. How are you? I I am okay. Good. If if you need someone to talk to, I am available. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. So, um... She cooks your hallucinogenic mushrooms... And Thank you, dear. Back to you. And she goes, uh huh. Hey, Ander! I saw this one coming. I just know. <laughs> I wasn't for sure if yeah, she was going to give them to Ander or if she was missing her spirit wine. <laughs> no. Um. Andrew, I do see that you have elf lineage. I myself am a vegetarian. I'm wondering, would you perhaps like to have some mushrooms? I want to atone for how nasty I've been the past several days. Mm -hmm. I'm debating on whether I just trust it or not. Sure. I am I'm not even gonna roll a roll a perception check. You're not gonna roll in. You don't want to roll inside or anything like that. You're just gonna go with gut. Um. Well, I tell you what, I'm not gonna <laughs> roll insight. I got a crazy high insight. I'll roll survival. Well, they're already cooked, right? So survival is not even gonna help. I. It could. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll roll survival just to, like, kind of glance at them. I can even roll at disadvantage if you think that it being cooked would kind of mask what they look like. Homie, you do what you want. I'll, I'll roll, I'll roll at disadvantage. I will roll with you. I will roll at disadvantage. I'll just do, like, a really quick glance. Cool. Makes sense. Um, and that's a nat one, baby. Don't even need to roll a second time. That's, that's a beautiful, beautiful mushroom in that in that plate right there. Perfectly cooked. Okay, oh, thanks, Ellen. Smells wonderful. You're so welcome. Enjoy that. We'll take it and eat it. So roll. I'm so sorry. Roll for constitution. Saving? Or just straight constitution? Constitution saving. You said yep. Okay. Oh, 
do I use the same guy? I, there's no way I get two bad rolls in a row. Uh, 9 plus 4, 13. Um, the world's looking a little wavy to you. Looking a little wavy and a little bit brighter. Alright, um, so this is still right before bed, right? Huh? This is still right before bed, right? No, this is the next morning. You guys are literally... Oh, this is the next right morning. <laughs> oh, I hope y'all are ready for some serious shit. Yeah, uh... Alright, sounds are good. You, are you... How many of those mushrooms did you, uh, have Lysandra cook? All of them. All of them. <laughs> I'm thinking about whether or not I want you to roll constitution one more time or not, because that's a lot of mushrooms to eat. Um, Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Yup, as time. Evelyn's chewing on a turkey trump stick. <laughs> roll constitution one more time. Ander, I'm sorry. Joke. Uh, another 13. <laughs> Things right, are I mean, a little uh, lopsided, but, uh, you're still coherent, and you're, like, vaguely aware of, this is weird. Okay. Basandra is just cleaning up the cooking ware. She is not looking at Ander. She is like, I have no part in this. Evelyn's gonna walk over with the turkey to Valerian. Want some? <laughs> Valerian had to go take care of our kitten for a minute, so he'll be right back. Evelyn will proceed to stand there awkwardly holding a turkey. <laughs> I'm just imagining her holding the whole turkey. <laughs> oh yeah, no, she's holding the whole turkey, just missing basically a drumstick that she's eating. I was just holding it out to him. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, awkward silence. <laughs> Sandra just still cleaning. She's like, I'm not part of this. The Kanku's like, why well, don't anyone want ever want to eat my eggs? Looks over at uh, the, the quiet druid lady. Do you want to eat my eggs? They're fresh. Alina. The weird bird man is asking if you want to eat his eggs. Sorry, I was dealing with Shadow. That's understandable. Uh, no, I'm... Uh, no. Well, I'm insulted. I was, I was told that y'all would be more willing to eat my eggs. That stupid dwarf got there done lied to me again. I'm allergic to eggs. I'm allergic to you, but I'm still dealing with you. <laughs> Ella's going to, like, up slightly hold out the turkey, see if he wants it. <laughs> If I eat that, is that considered cannibalism? Uh, are you part turkey? I might be, I don't know. <laughs> what are kankus? Aren't they like crow people? Yes. Yeah. I temporarily forgot what a kanku was. Um. I'm not, but birds are birds. Or are we beyond birds? That's racist. Has the gods deemed us evolved beings of beyond of, of what our ancestors once were? 
Or maybe we never was to begin with. My head hurts. I'm going back to bed. Uh, DM. Yes. Would you consider this a poisoned condition, perhaps? It's an altered state. I would cons it's not necessarily poison, but I would consider it close enough. So I could use my lay on hands to move a disease or poison? Sure. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay. We're playing a dangerous game since you don't know what's ahead. Yes. Well, the alternative was me uh, doing a roll to see if I cast Fireball on the party or on the enemy. So I don't know what you mean. I would have never have done such a thing to you. Allegedly. <laughs> I hate that you knew exactly what I was going to have you do, too. <laughs> too smart for his own good. That can only lead to trouble. <laughs> um, negative two intelligence, my butt. <laughs> Alrighty. When everyone is ready, I can move forward. And uh, Valerian can decide whether or not he eats turkeys. Ready. You ready? Ready. 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 Um, Valerian will be ready whenever Valerian is ready. He's he's doing important family business. Valerian's ready. Valerian's ready. Hooray! Does Valerian turkey though? That's the important thing. No, oh. he did not turkey. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Someone's gotta eat this turkey. <laughs> I'm too busy having existential crisis. I'll eat turkey. If it's being offered, oh, okay. I mean, I'm an anarchist. Turkey, it's a whole ass turkey. <laughs> it's a whole ass <laughs> like, turkey. <you're> <laughs> you guys, shit, you don't have to be like freaking savages. You're gonna fight over whether or not you get some of the breast beat or the freaking last leg. <laughs> Anyways, so onward we go. Uh, you guys eat and finish the turkey. You throw out the bones for lack of trash cans. Um, and you move on forward. Uh, the rest of the ride is quiet. And then you enter Linusburg. As you enter the burnt village you're met with the sad, devastating visual. Homes that were built strong to last generations in either broken ruins or even ashes. As you search around, you find more just ruined property and burnt and charred corpses of people, animals, Of all sizes and ages. Valerian. Not Roll for perception. Just you. Seven. Okay. He got a seven. You can't peer deep into the veil separating the spirits from normal vision. But you do see a single spirit. 
of a child around the same age as the cler the young cleric in the chapel. She's crying as she sits in what you could only assume is the ruined remains of her home. No one else can see it. Just Valerian shoulders that burden. The Kenku stops the cart. He just says, all right, we're here. I'll be outside the city. Just let me know when you're ready to go back. So, you all exit the cart, and you can look around. Uh... Evelyn will place a hand on uh, Elowen's shoulder. I'm going to take an aerial view again, just to uh, make sure I don't trip on anything. Mm -hmm. Sure. And then, uh, well, she's going to do exactly what she said. Steve's going to go flying in the air, and I'm seeing through his eyes again. All right. Elowen will uh, hold Evelyn's hand on her shoulder. for perception. 25. The scene you see walking in is village-wide. Um, you do see a couple of houses that have trap doors that you can only assume lead to a basement of some kind or some sort of cellar. Um, like a storage cellar or whatever. Mm-hmm. But outside of that, you don't see anything. You do see, like, forms where life used to be there, or or, uh, or, or maybe someone had walked through there uh, post-destruction. Um, but it's just devastation and death. Well, not many people walked out of here. Sandra is just kind of not full on hugging herself, but just has her arm, uh, her hand firmly, like on like where the, her neck and shoulder connects, just as like a way of just kind of self comforting, trying to keep herself calm and collected. And she uh, just says, In all my days, I have never seen anything like this. The car shot. Gone. Valerian, hmm? did you say something? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, let me see.
I know. I have the same sights as you. I... I am sorry for the loss. But it's okay now. You can move on. They're waiting for you. You don't have to be scared. It's okay to let go. <laughs> Step into it. And Valerian, as uh, the little child reaches out, uh, you see her fade away. Ellen. Yes. What did you need? I. Uh, nothing. I'm sorry. Hmm. There are still a couple of closed basement cellars that we can investigate if need be. It was a great place to start. I don't think that anything on the surface survived. Uh, I'm going to have Evelyn's sight be restored to her own eyes, and I guess she's going to seek out the closest uh, door that she saw. Okay. Valerian will, uh, will follow behind her. As will Elowen. There are two. I want you guys to roll. When you guys pull open the basement, it's completely unlocked. So, um, roll investigation, please. I rolled 12. I also rolled a 12. <laughs> uh, that'd be a 17. Uh, and on top of the investigation, can I do uh, um, divine sense? You can. Zephira, Elena, uh, roll for... 11. You got 11. Elena, what'd you do? Yeah. We're rolling for investigation. What am I rolling? Investigation. Which... Which dice? Uh, D20. <laughs> Am I adding anything to it? Uh, you're adding a one. So, uh, 20. Okay. Thank you for rolling. Um, so with the 20, as you guys are searching through the cellar, you find various food. Um, most of it still preserved. It's only been few days so most of it's preserved some of it that wasn't preserved was probably going to be 
was kind of put off to the side as like kind of like a throw like soon to be throwaway pile almost like a clearance aisle at a at a store um but in the someone's uh basement elena you you see a few barrels like everyone saw these barrels but you saw one of the barrels move Like something's inside it. Not like the barrel itself decided to move, but something inside it is moving in the barrel. I will walk over to see what's going on. Do you open the barrel? Yes. You open the barrel. And you see... Twins. Asthma twins. Their wings are just now beginning to, to grow. They couldn't be more than five years old. still alive and terrified uh hey guys you might want to come check this out what is it there's children Elowen will run over. Elowen will very, very slowly walk over. Just because she knows that her visual isn't exactly the uh, nicest first thing to see. Uh, they have short white hair. Their eyes are a sparkling gold. Um, again, they're no more than five. Who who are you? I'm Elowen. And you are? Asner. And and this is my uh, twin sister, Bella. Asner and Bella. The great names. Thank you. You're not, you're not here to hurt us. No, no, of course not. You're, you're not with the, 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 the guy with no face. Valerian. Hey, Joe. Uh, two things. Um. One, kind of like to do an investigation check on uh, on these children. Gave a pretty interesting description of them. Sure. May I ask, and you can DM me if you don't want me to say it out loud, uh, what are you looking for? I want to know what they are. Um, and that would be a, uh, uh, 21. Okay. Um, you probably haven't seen too many of them. Uh, they are, I believe it's pronounced Asimar children. Uh, they're angel folk. Uh, this is how yeah. they're also referenced. Um, they are similar to tieflings where their birth can either be done naturally or it can also be um, a cleric could theoretically or a paladin of, of certain favor could have a child with angel-like um, qualities. Um, 
and these children mo with with how you know with their white hair golden eyes they were probably actually born in uh the realm of of the celestial beings um and were moved here at some point for whatever reason Them are there? Just two. Two. Twins. Okay. Twins. Okay. Uh, Valerian gives them kind of a once over. Um, and then uh, uh, they, they, they mentioned the, the faceless man. Um, yeah. Uh, Jesse is having a hard time remembering who this might be. Uh, can can I do a history check and you remind me? Sure. Okay. Uh, what is my history? Plus eight, so uh, fourteen. Okay. Um, I'll say that definitely passes because it is Valerian's history. So, um. You don't remember seeing a man with no face. However, you do remember, along with the fire and the screams, uh, you do remember hearing the slashing of swords. No, little ones. We're not with the faceless man. Okay. Are you two okay? Yeah, mommy and daddy put us down here and told us not to leave until absolutely necessary or until mommy and daddy come back. How long ago was that? I don't... I don't know. How many times have you went to sleep since that happened? Once Bella is hiding behind her brother, she's not speaking. Um, hmm. okay, Blair, I'm just going to ponder for a little bit. Okay, uh, the Kenku that drove us there is he's like hanging out at least somewhat nearby or did he yeah, just yeah yeah you can go out and grab him he's just outside the the village uh the village gate like the opening God. to the village so like he, he's not that far away uh evelyn will kind of speak up um if you want me to i can take them to the carriage and have them wait while we wrap things up here do you trust that Kenku? Truth be told, no. But at the same time, he works <laughs> with the guild. You made me spit up my water. <laughs> yeah, but his Gothier's higher. Yes, but would you rather them continue to sit down here? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go with you. You carry one, I carry the other. Evelyn will kind of kneel down just because she knows that she's not exactly a... Uh... What's the word for it? The most pleasant. Not really pleasant, but the uh, most uh, kind or nicest looking person. Let's face it, she looks like a demon. <laughs> <laughs> But she is going to uh, kneel down and kind of gently kind of raise out a hand. And Steve's also going to kind of flutter onto her hand to make it seem seemingly more safe. Uh, Asner kind of gestures Bella uh, towards Evelyn 
and Bella looks at her brother. He nods his head, and she takes uh, Evelyn's hand. Valerian uh, looks up and kind of snaps out of his thinking. What are you guys doing? Well, we shouldn't keep them down here, should we? They shouldn't stay down here, no. But where are you taking them? Back to the mm -hmm. carriage. Where else would we take them? There's... I don't think that this is the place splitting us up. Would you prefer that they stay with us then? I think they're safer with us than at that unguarded carriage with the oh. bird man. Asner, do you wish to go on an adventure? Uh, okay. Elowen offers piggyback rides. Asner cautiously accepts piggyback ride. I promise. I won't bite. Okay. Evelyn's going to use her moths to kind of help a sister with this, but since her kind of uh, mantle comes with the whole, like, kind of parted moth wing uh, cloak, things that go on the back, she might try to fasten that more into, like, a path that the girl can ride in. Okay. Elowen is running around pretending to be a horse. Asner, although it is, he, you could, just by holding him, you can tell he's still shaking uh, with nerves. He does let out a very, uh, a warm laugh as he's fighting <laughs> you. Um... As you guys are continually exploring, you do notice in the nearby a dark mist begins to form. Both children go wide-eyed. The dark mist begins to gather into one spot and begins to undulate as it takes form. Legs, a body, arms, finally forming a head. Then the details of the armor Mimicking the guards and soldiers you've seen in Polera. The open helm exposing a faith with, just as the children said, no features. Its sword formed and dripping with what looks like rotting ichor from a corpse. Instead of rusting. El Evelyn's preemptively, like, slowly drawing her blade and backing up. Elowen summons her three wolves. Lysandra pulls out both of her daggers, stating, uh, somewhat in front of, uh, the children, even though, like, they're behind Evelyn and Elowen, she kind of stands up front to protect them as well. Roll for initiative. Nine. Oh, All right, let me give me one second. 
Okay, so Valerian had nine. Who who has also rode for initiative? Uh, Sav has a twelve. I have a thirteen. Valerian had a nine. Ander had a sixteen. Zephyr had a fifteen. And Lexi has no sound. Okay. Um. What did Zephyra roll? Uh, 15. 15. And so did Ander. Ander rolled a 16. 16. Cool. Alessandra uh, rolled. A 1. I'll be honest, there was a part of me that's like, oh, Asner rolled. But I thought that'd be too far. The faceless knight rolled an eighteen. So did Alina. Oh, I forgot to roll my wolves! Oh, no. Oh, wait. Did they just go after me? They just go after you. Oh, thank goodness. Cool. So we'll say Elena, um, turns into an actual horse. We put the horse up. The kids on the horse. Yep. Yep. We'll just say she carried the kids off, and that way, uh, you guys, um, don't have to. Uh, worry about the kids being in uh, harm's way. Oh, good. I don't have to hold back. Good. Because, <laughs> uh... Oh, boy. Um... So, who... How many people do we have? So we have six people, right? Because Elena's sitting out. So we got six, uh, six lovely targets. Cool. I mean players. Sorry. I get the words mixed up all the time. No, oh, targets be more accurate. <laughs> Valerian, he's running after you. Valerian steals himself. Um. Does a sixteen hit? Uh, no, sir. It goes for a slash. You take a you take a double step back, dodge it. He goes for another hit, going after uh, 
Uh, Ander. Does a dirty 20 hit? Uh, it does, but I will use my reaction to cast shield. Okay. What does that do? Uh, it gives me plus 5 to AC. Okay, so, so the shield blocks it. Yes. Cool. That is its turn. Ander! Okie doke. Uh, um, is Detect Good and Evil, or not Detect Good and Evil, is Divine Sense thing in anything? Huh? Like, can I tell if it's, I, it's obviously not Celestial, but is it Fiend or Undead? Uh, it is closer to Fiend. Um, I, I will do you one better to make it real spicy. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for some spice? Ready. This is some nice tangy jalapeno spice, let me tell you. It doesn't look like it's a hole. Like W-H-O-L-E. Like this is a fragment. Okay. All right, then I am just full throttle sending all the damage I can at it. I am going to do... I'm going to draw my rapier, and I go for a hit. Okay. Um, go for a hit. I dare you. I want you to. Uh, 14. That does not hit. Okie doke. Then I am going to do Booming Blade. Okay. And I am going to go for another hit. Okay. Go for another hit. Oh my god, a 15. That does not hit. Well, then that's my turn. He deflects both. Zephira, it's your turn. Lovely. <laughs> um, I'm going to... So wait, are there places for me to hide? <laughs> Uh, there's various, uh, left, uh, like, ruins of houses that you could theoretically go hide in. Okay. I'm going to pull a Zephyr <laughs> and let's see. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to be any help. Okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. Um... I will go with the arrow once again. Let's see. Oh, that's not. <laughs> 12. <laughs> that does not hit. No. Okay, well, she's going to go hide now. <laughs> Is that your turn? That's it. <laughs> Evelyn. Okay. So what I am going to do as a bit of like a prep for myself, I'm going to mark this guy effectively for death um, with her uh, what's called favored foe okay. ability. I'm going to cast magic weapon on her uh, greatsword. Okay. And then with my last uh, thing, I'm going to, like, run in. Uh, I assume, like, there's probably some ruined house kind of slightly nearby. She's going to try and, like, leap off of it and kind of do a downward slash at them. Okay. Uh, 
And that's going to be a 16. That does not hit. Damn it. Well, I did about all I can do. <laughs> Except for the fact that I'm going to have my moss attempt. Keyword being attempt. To push him back 15 feet. <laughs> okay. What do I have to roll? So I, uh, just a... I think it's a... Is it dexterity? I think it's... Uh... It's dex or con. I'm gonna go with dex. Cool. And yes, passes 15. Uh, if it meets or beats. If it meets, it beats. Yep. He has a plus three dexterity uh, and rolled a 12, so. Yeah. I tried. Cool. Uh, the next person would be Elowen. Elowen will very, um, very uh, flamboyantly twirl her dagger of venom and, and roll the stabby stab. <laughs> you roll that stabby stab. Little boy does a a twenty two hit. It does. Okay. Um. Cool. So that is seven. Um. Oh boy, I'm so sorry. Seven of the uh the that uh good old slashing damage, and I have to find my D ten. Where is it? I think it's this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, you're fine. Take your time. And then 11 uh, poison damage. 11 poison damage. Yep. Cool. All right. And then uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and roll to a stab again. Oh wait, no. Sorry. Uh, on our uh, uh, oh gosh, I'm sorry. A fury of blows. Cool. So those are both thirty twenties. If it meets, it beats. Oh, that's so comforting. And um, uh, sixteen damage. And I guess we'll roll these little wolves here. Oh gosh, none of those hit. So let's try again. Um, I don't think any of those hit because it's a 20, right? 20 AC? Correct. Okay, wolves don't hit. Okay. How are you guys feeling? Scared. Cool. Sad. Valerian, it's your turn. Okay. Um, going to use uh, going to use my bonus action to consume a mutagen. Okay. And increase my dexterity. Then I'm going to uh, run away as far away as I can. Right. Uh, preferably in a direction that requires the shadow to go through other people. Yes. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to take an, an arrow and string it mm -hmm. into the bow. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pull the bowstring back. And aim very carefully, Ooh. and 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 try and and shoot a sh a, a gosh darn shadow with an arrow, and let's see how that happens. You know what? I believe in you. I believe okay. in Harvey Dent. Well, that's not a that's not a reassuring. Hey Joe, let's just save you and I some trouble. Uh, what's the uh, <laughs> what, what what's the AC of the shadow? Twenty. Okay. Um, let's let's try this next one. Let's see if this so 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 uh so so he's gonna try again. Okay. 
I, right. I'm very curious on what you wrote. Um, we're not gonna worry about that. Okay. I am Bunny and, Solid too. And uh, it. I mean, Valerian has like a plus fourteen on his on his bow right now, so right. he needs very little to actually hit it, and he oh, still no. miss. That doesn't do anything. So. Oh no. Okay. Um, all right. So second second shot. Let's see. That see that's that's way better. See that's that's way better. That's that's a that's a that's a thirty three. Yeah, that'll hit. No wait, I'm sorry. I got a minus five from that. That that's a twenty eight. Yeah, that still hits. Luckily, still still hits. Yeah, okay. it still hits. I I had to do that's the math good. real quick, but but yeah, it still hits. I do the math too. Yeah. Okay. And uh, maybe let's just go ahead and pull the dice out that I need for all this. That'd, that'd be helpful for everybody, I think. Uh, yep, yeah, need you. And need... Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, need that. Mm -hmm. And I need that. Don't mind me. Uh, just talk yeah, to myself no. here. You're fine. Okay. Be... I got all di diddly dang day. Okay, so that's going to be um, uh, twelve piercing damage. Okay. And rolling for radiant damage. Uh, eight radiant damage. Eight radiant damage. That was a big boom. Um. I'm not going to look because it's not my problem, but, um, yeah, so that's fun. Anyways, oh, cool. uh, my real life doesn't really matter right now because we're playing D&D. &D. So, uh, okay, so total of 20 damage. Okay, very nice. Anything else? You know what? I, I would, but it seems that Valerian can't do anything else. Okay, fair enough. Lovely. Lissandra, what are you going to do? I'm not going to die today. We'll see. Uh, that's not going to hit. Come on, Lissandra. Get your shit together. That'll hit. See? It's not that hard. Okay. And she hits for nine damage. Cool. Oh, no. Cool. It's the Faceless Knight's turn again. Um... So, uh, who's all relatively close to our faceless knight? Ella when stabbed. Ella considering stabbed. I tried, considering I tried and failed to move him back, uh, I'm still open. This that's probably yes. Okay. Ander, are you close or not? I can't remember how close you were. Captain Ander of the Enterprise. Yes. Are you yes. are you are you nearby? Yep. Cool. I'm gonna need you all to do a uh, Constitution saving throw. Natural twenty. Do you need me to do it as well? I don't know how close I am because I'm hiding. Nine. Uh, I say no. I say you're far enough away. Okay. Nine. Nine. Nine and and, and not twenty. Cool. Um, for no reason at all, where's my D12 at? Uh, 
Uh, Evelyn, uh, you back up in time to dodge it. His sword, the edge of his sword, where it's like dripping, glows a green. And he slashes all around. You dodge it. Um, Evelyn and Ander, since you guys failed the saving throw. Uh, you guys take 18 points of, of poison damage. Or er, necrotic damage. I'm sorry. Ow. Yeah. Yes, again. And, um... Uh, let me look at this. Uh, and since... Ander and Elowen are right there. Um, he is going to go after Ander again. Ander. Does a... 23 hit. First level spell slots. It does, but I'm going to uh, shield on that reaction again. You're going to use the reaction again? Yeah. Okay, so it was really close to hitting still, <laughs> but not quite. Yeah, I, uh, I only had uh, one AC to spare on that one. Oh, shoot. Alrighty. Ander, it's your turn. Yay. Alright. I Let's try this again. Rapier, plus eight. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can not roll single digits for I think the first time. Oh my gosh, I got a four. Okay, let's try again. Okay, fine. Oh, I'm casting Booming Blade as a bonus action. Cool. Um, all right, uh, that would be a 25. And then I absolutely divine smiting. I think that okay. The... Okay, so the rapier is going to be 8. And then I'm going to cast Divine Smite at 4th level. Oh, shoot. Um, let's see what we got. I need another D6. Oh. And luckily, I have one more. Um, oh my gosh, that's a, a lot of ones. Uh, one, three, six, seven, seven plus five is math. Well, plus five. 17 plus, damage. Oh, sorry. plus 6, so 23 damage. 23 damage. And then if he moves, he's going to take another D8 okay. worth of damage. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And is that your turn? Um... Action, bonus action. Yep, that's it. Lovely. Zafira, it's your turn again, love. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, that's oh, oh, oh okay, sorry. My computer is acting strange. Yep, you're fine. Okay. Um Okay. I'm going to let's see. 
Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Because how far am I from him? I will say 20 feet. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Then in that case, I will. You said 20 feet? Yeah. Okay. Okay. extra okay so do i have to be can since i'm hidden now do i have to wait to do sneak attack until i'm not hidden or do i how does that work you so this is where rogues kind of break a little bit um, oh great yeah no it's a good thing uh so because the rules of hiding are kind of vague. Um, you can, you have to get out of hiding to do a sneak attack, but you can go right back into hiding. Because okay. rogues are broken that way. <laughs> broken like me. Great. <laughs> but it's pretty much like their only thing that they're broken on. So, I, I think just the attack takes them out of uh, stealth. Correct. Correct. Okay. So I need to okay. Well, in that case, I guess I'll come out of hiding. <laughs> and I'll do let's see cuz I have this bonus action. Uh Okay. So, in that case, I will just... So, out of hiding. I've been exposed. Yeah. The paparazzi <laughs> And so do... You. Huh? So the paparazzi found you. Did... So, can I still do it now? Or do I wait until next turn? If so, that's fine, because I, I have other things I can do. You can, you can use sneak attack with your bow. Okay, well... Okay, great. Well, in that case, I'm gonna do that. Okay, roll the hit. Okay. <sighs> oh! What's the roll? I have an eight. <laughs> you whiffed it. Zafira is crying in the club. <laughs> it happens. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. Um, let's see. Well, Heart I can't do broke. much else. Huh? Heart been broke too many times. Never been healed. <laughs> well, in that case, uh, because of the bonus action, I can't, because I already did that, I can't. Yeah. Okay. Well, she goes back in hiding as she does best. Alrighty. Evelyn. Okay. So what I am going to do is first things first, the moths that are around Evelyn are going to kind of start scattering and doing their whole healing aura thing because she's cast ca casting Healing Spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, so everyone nearby is going to get healed. For eleven of their health back. Okay. Thank you, darling. And <laughs> sorry, girl. And then next, what she's going to do is she's going to again attempt to kind of rush in and attack. Does a twenty-seven hit? It does. Yes. Good. <laughs> no, he gained AC while you guys were distracted. He put a flash can overhead. Gained 15 AC. Damn, Fallout tactics. I hate it. <laughs> Fallout 
tactics? <laughs> Did you not say that I could fall for when they used to be able to put fucking trash cans over the NPCs to protect them? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, or be like uh, uh, Divinity 2, where you can wear a bucket. Yep. So that is 26 damage. Oh, and I need him to make a uh, co uh, dexterity saving there again, because I'm trying to push him again. Um, I gotta do math real quick, sorry. You're good. I would ask you guys for help, but that would kind of ruin the, the, the surprise of how close you guys are to winning, and or losing. Just depends on how spicy I want to get. Of yeah. course, of course. Huh? Is that a course, of course. Okay, you said dexterity saving throw because you want to push him again. Yes. Uh, he's got a dirty 20. Well, shit, he's still pretty damn rooted. <laughs> For a shadow, you seem pretty heavy. <laughs> uh... Is there anything else I can reasonably do? I don't think there is. Nope, nothing else I can do. Steve, do you got anything you want to do? What's that? You want to give your bard inspiration to Elwyn for her next turn? That's pretty nice of you, Steve. <laughs> Steve is best moth. He is. Elon gives him nose nuzzles. Oh. <laughs> All right, is that is that Evelyn's turn? That's everything I can do. Yes. Evelyn. Yeah. It's. Is it cool. an extra D six to my attack for Bardic? Yes. Okay, oh, thank you. Like, to the damage or to the um, actual hit? The attack roll. Whatever you choose. Oh, whatever you choose? Okay, I thought it was the attack roll. It's basically whatever you choose. Like, you get hard and you kind of decide which you want to apply that to, whether it be attack roll or damage. Okay. Wow. Okay, cool. Inspired. Um. Okay, so, yeah, she's feeling so very inspired. She's going to roll the stab Her while my cat screams yeah. in the background. Me too, man. <laughs> Mood. Uh, so that... I think that just... Corin, oh my gosh. That's a, that's a dirty 20. That hit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, wait. 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 I don't think that hit. Oh, I gotta do math. No, it's an 18! Oh no. But hold on. We can roll that dice. 18 plus 5, that hits. <laughs> Okay. We are Yay. because of the Steve. Okay, so then that is um Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm so excited. That's seven um seven piercing and sixteen poison. Gosh diddly dang. Yeah, and so she's she's gonna also do the fury of blows. So she's gonna she's gonna punch, hopefully. She gonna punch. Uh, two nat twenties. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, that sucks then, cause I wish I had done something different. But um, <laughs> um, so total uh all together for. For that would be a ten, so so twenty damage. Okay. Yeah, and then and then I guess I'll roll for the wolves, the good wolfies. Mm -hmm. None of those hit. Let me try again. And none of those hit. All right, she's done. Okay. The wolves whimper at you, uh, sad that they feel like they're failing you. You are not failing, you're doing your best. And I thank you for it. And she gives them all those scratches. They are inspired. 
Okay. I just needed I needed that wholesome moment. Sorry. I just had a dead child on my in my campaign. So, you know, I need a balance. <laughs> Valerian, it is your turn. Um I guess uh can can we determine how much damage this shadow has taken? Uh, let me look real quick just to make sure I'm doing the math right. Um, he's pretty rough looking, but still sturdy. Okay. Um, gonna use bonus action to uh to do a crimson right. Cool. So Valerian takes an arrow out of his quiver and cuts it across his cheek and draws some blood and says a, a quick little um, quick little mantra and uh, his, his bow just starts glowing with a uh, fiery red. Nice. And then I'm going to try and shoot a shadow. You did it once. Okay. I did it once. <laughs> Let's see if you can do it again. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh so I'm 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 pretty sure that twenty five is gonna hit. It it does. It does. Okay. If it meets it beats, no I'm joking. <laughs> oh, like oh wait, an, I gotta uh, take my uh It's like an end. Vox Machina, when they were facing the dragon for the first time. Uh, I rolled a 22. Uh, misses. 22 misses? <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, and Joe, I didn't mention this, sorry. I rolled my uh, my D4 for uh, necrotic damage um, on my Crimson right. Okay. So, I, I, I did roll a 4 on that D4, so I took 4 necrotic damage. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's uh. Let's let's roll for for damage on, on Mr. Shadow Boy. Yeah. Run. Ro roll for dabblage. Roll for dabblage. Okay. Rollin for dabblage. Eight. Twelve. Let's, uh, hmm. What, what is that? Okay, okay. <laughs> so stupid. Um, so that'll be, uh, 20 piercing damage. Mm hmm. Um, that'll be 6 fire damage. And that'll be 9 radiant damage. Cool. Look at you when you're, uh, you're you're killing. And uh, gonna gonna try to shoot it again. You do that, man. All right. Believe in yourself. Believe in the heart of the cards. Okay, so that's t minus five. Uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yes, sir. Uh, last I checked, that does hit. Okay. Do you want to make sure? Then, then know if like as we damage it more, he's like, he's like, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Well, thank you for giving me that idea. Uh, I didn't say that at all. Um, <laughs> I don't recall talking actually. <laughs> well, that's crazy. Yes, I didn't hear you either. That's so insane. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, four plus six, ten. So, <laughs> once again, this uh, twenty piercing damage. Um, two fire damage and two radiant damage. Uh, say all that again. Sorry. Uh, twenty piercing damage. Twenty. And then two, two. Uh, yeah, two fire, two radiant. Cool. All right. Uh, you guys are about halfway. Anyways,
Anyways, Lissandra, what do you guys, what do you have in that, in that little dagger bag of yours, you little scamp? Oh wait, I forgot to roll for her. I forgot she was right there. Um, I said, uh, 18 plus minus 11 is so a seven damage. So she's at 41. Okay. People say I don't remember shit. Oh, cool. She got a nat 20. And a one. The two extremes. <laughs> Cool. Um. Oh, hey, it's the Faceless Knight's turn again. Um. So because Lissandra is right there, so there's three people. Actually, no. Um. Evelyn's right there. Evelyn, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Does a... Does a 16 hit? It does not. Okay, he's gonna attack you again. Does a 19 hit? It does. Okay. Cool. You take ten slashing damage. Okay. Oh wait, uh, twelve slashing damage. I forgot to add the plus ten. Um. And then where's my D ten? I can't find my D ten. You take four necrotic damage. I take two. I'm necrotic resistant. <laughs> you take two necrotic damage. Oh no! You see, it's, it's a loophole. loophole. It's a loophole of immunity. Oh, she's no. from shithole. <laughs> oh, <my gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> Ander, it is your turn. Take it carefully. I don't even know what character's voice that is. It's, uh... Drunk Fifle. Yes. No, I can't remember the YouTuber's name. Maniac, do you know who I'm talking about? Sorry, what? The, the voice I do, I can't remember the character's name. It was, uh... Oh, he's a D&D &D YouTuber. <laughs> Uh, like Puffin? Puff Forest? Maybe. Oh, you mean Absurd? Yeah, Absurd! The character that, like, is hated by every party that he's in. Anyways, Ander, it's, it's, it's your turn. Alright. I will... Is this considered a creature or no? I'll allow it. I'm gonna use my bonus action to cast Wrathful Smite. Okay. And then I am going to try to make a hit with my rapier, which seems to be Hard Mhm. Mm that freaking twenty. Go. Nat freaking. So 20. this is about to be a lot of damage. It's about to go down. Because I am going to once again divine smite at fourth level, which I forgot to actually check the slot. Mhm. Mm okay. So, if I'm not mistaken, 
Divine Smite follows the same rules as um, weapons with crits, right? Mm-hmm. So is that just going to be 30 points of radiant damage? Correct. Yeah, just okay, max so it's gonna be, max amount of damage. So it's going to be... Thir- or wait, is it... Yeah, 5d6. Okay, 30 points of radiant damage. Uh-huh. And oh my goodness, I gotta find. Them. Take your time. Right. And fourteen points of slashing damage. How many points? Oh, of and uh, fourteen. And then raffle smite. Um, uh, I need to roll a d6. A six. Let's go. All that bad luck. Six points of psychic damage. And then it needs to make a wisdom saving throw or be frightened until... It needs to be frightened of me until the spell ends. Is this a concentration? Yes, it is. Okay. okay. Um. So it's got to meet or beat a 16. 16? Yep. Dirty 20. Alright, it saves. So, yeah, just the damage, though. No, uh, no frightening. Cool. So just the 6 damage. Yes, just the 6 damage. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, Zephira, it is your turn to come out of hiding. It has been 1,000 years. <laughs> time to conquer Earth. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Out of hiding I come. Um. So I'm going to come out of hiding, and I'm going to do, or I'm going to try to do sneak attack. Um, thank you. Fingers crossed. All of my dice hate me. (laughs) Okay. Okay. 23! (laughs) That hits! Yeah! (laughs) You did it. And they're purple dice. (laughs) Right there. See? (laughs) Everyone's gonna start getting purple dice now. Like, oh, we all need it. They have it has. They have gold flex. <laughs> okay, so let's see. With sneak attack, you can deal an extra five d six damage to one creature. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so question. I know I did this in one other game that it was successful. So. Since I'm using my uh, bow and arrow, so because it hit, do what am I rolling for for the damage? Am I rolling for the bow or am I rolling for sneak attack or am I rolling for both? Both. Oh, lovely. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do, to make things easier... We're just going to use this. Okay. Sneak attack damage, 18. Um, and then this one, 1d8 plus, and then 11. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Great. Um. And then... You hide? She goes... Yes. (laughs) I'm learning. I'm a supercomputer. I learn. Uh... (laughs) Evelyn. It is your turn. I see. I think it's about time I did it. (laughs) I've been wondering when. Yeah. Zaphmarstra... 
Okay, okay, it hasn't let me down. It has not let me down. The first roll scared me. <laughs> okay. First roll. A two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it came close. Second, look, look, it's a little advantage. Anyways. Okay, so I did write this uh, 54 is the maximum damage I can do under these conditions. Yeah. And then I wanted to attack again! <laughs> And... Dirty 20? Does that hit? Yeah, Dirty 20 hits. It meets a beats. Let's go! One T9 damage. Got a math again. Okay. Anything else? That's about all I can. Oh, wait. Healing Spirit. That's still active. Everyone gets healed. That's 12. 12 HP. Cool. Back to full health, baby. We'll see. For now, baby. And Steve does his uh, valiant war drum. Dun, 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 dun. And pass the turn on to that one. Yeah! Hey, hello. Steve. Is your turn. Yeah. Okay. Can you guess what I'm gonna do? Are you gonna do a stabby stab? <laughs> a dead flurry of blows? Yeah, but well, it depends. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that is a dirty 20. Yeah, Only they go on in them. Okay, hold on. I gotta get my thing. Where is the thing? Oh, man. Oh, there you go. The D10s, they always look so crazy to me. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's 16 poison. And 8 piercing. And then uh, she's going to go... Okay. And sure, why not? We'll do the fairy of blow. She's not super angry yet. Oh. I am. Man. Those don't hit. She missed them both. That's okay though, because it's time for the wolves. Right? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Where is my... There you are. Um... I got very close with a 19 on one of them. That's a bummer. Wolves don't hit. Predictably. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. They're doing their best. That's it. I'm just doing math. It's hard. Um, Valerian. Sorry, I was making sure like all my math was like laid out good. Um, so, so, so brosive. Yep. There has been a culmination of events that has been leading up to this, this turn. All the stars have aligned. Uh, Jupiter is in orbit. Okay. And I, I think it's ready to do it. You've been like dipping into fighter, uh, with Valerian as a, 
uh-huh. as a as another class. Um, so I did that purposefully for the fighting spirit class feature under oh, samurai okay. class. And fighting spirit as a bonus action lets me give advantage on all weapon attacks until the end of the current turn. Okay. And and gives five temporary hit points. Ooh. I'm going to go ahead and do that. He just Kaioken to this place. And I'm going to uh, to roll these next attacks into the Mm-hmm. You do that, homie. Gosh dang it, that was I I, I pulled a, a savannah, I just rolled a knife. Okay, so oh. the, No, I'm sorry, the, the dice was nineteen, Savannah. It's not. Um So that's gosh man, I'm rolling a lot of nineteens today. Why can't I roll gosh on twenty? It's literally on the complete Recipes. opposite side of the dice. Um that's okay. Uh so, so yeah, I guess another uh, twenty-five after taking my sharpshooter. Um, go ahead and roll. Okay. Not roll dice. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. That's okay. Everything's fine. Uh, six. So that's gonna be twenty piercing. Um, also, my D eight is absolutely loving the number four. Um, yeah. It it walks after the number four. Uh, so 20 piercing, um, that is going to be, oh, uh, solid 10 radiant, and 5 fire. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and attack again. Uh, can you give me those numbers again? I apologize. Oh, yeah. Uh, 20 piercing, 10 radiant, and 5 fire. Appreciate you. You're welcome, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, tap again. And that's. I actually don't know if this was going to hit. Um, yeah, that's because I, I'm taking sharpshooter on like, all these attacks. Yeah. Uh, so that's a 10 plus 14 minus 5. So that's 19. So that's, that's, that's a mess. Okay. Um, wait, was that my first roll or my second roll? I think that was a second roll. Um, but I'm going to act and surge, my man. Yes! Uh, and let's do this whole gauntlet again. Yes! I love action surge. Yes! Ha ha ha! I knew rolling eight times, I'd eventually get it. <laughs> okay, that, that, that was critical. Um, awesome. <laughs> are, are we eight doing... times I would get it. <laughs> are we uh uh he's, he's rolling criticals or are we doing max damage? Just max damage. Okay. Um so that's gonna be uh let's see. I'm scared about this number. Uh you don't have to be scared. That's you know, that's that's not a thing. Um that's gonna be Let's see. Uh, f- that number can't be right. Hold on a second. Where is that coming from? Uh, That that number really makes way more sense. Okay. Because you we're we're not saying like double damage and take max on that, right? We're talking like no, just like it is a one d eight with an eight plus you know six, or, you know, right? Okay, thank you. That makes way more sense. Um, so that'll be uh, eight. Oh gosh, if I gave you guys triple damage, I would have to have like 
enemies with like HP of like a thousand or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's fair enough. Um, fourteen. Or, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I can't math tonight. I, I should have put a calculator out. Um, so it's so, so it's fourteen, fifteen plus ten. So it's uh, going to be fifteen piercing. No, that's, that's not right. Uh, plus the ten. Sorry, plus the ten. That's going to be twenty-five piercing. Okay. Um, plus ten radiant. Plus six fire. I think that was right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, the, I'm, I'm going to attack one more time. Cool. Uh, this one was not a great. It will hit though. So. Okay. I should just alerted all these up in D and D Beyond. Let it do it for me. Hey, uh, this was a a three this time on the uh, on the D eight roll. So, uh, nine, so nineteen piercing damage. Uh, nine radiant damage, and two fire damage. Okay. It is the home stretch. In, in in that turn, by the way, how much total damage was it? In just that turn? Yeah. Uh, 25, 35, 41, 60, 69, nice. Uh, and 71. 71 damage. Okay. He's not doing good. He's not doing good. All right. Cassandra, what are you going to do? You're going to miss both times, you stupid woman. She tries so hard. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So... It's the face of soldiers turn again. I may have been fibbing a little bit. Its hit points are actually at zero. And you may be asking yourself, Well, well Joe, why do you still have it standing? It's about to blow up. But not blow up like, you know, the Mayor Morale. That would be easy. You notice... And even Alina, you notice. You're not safe either. The entire sky begins to darken. Red lightning begins to... Like almost like shell itself and you just see beams of of red light going around the city of of Linusburg or the village of Linusburg I need everyone to roll a dexterity saving throw Twenty-three. Alina, you also have to roll. Sorry, I'm back. Welcome back. So, did you hear? What, what was the last time you heard? Uh, Valerian was taking his action. Okay, cool. Um, 
the whole sky is now getting dark and red lightning is everywhere and there are red lights going around uh, Linusburg roll for a dexterity saving throw homie uh, 22 okay I do a flip <laughs> and I see Ander roll to 14 can Elowen try to grab Ander I'm going to roll. If it lands on an odd number, yes. Okay. If it lands on a on an even number, I'm sorry, but no. Okay. If it lands on an even number, ever like it's no. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> try. <laughs> this goes for everyone. It landed on an eight. The DC was 20. Question. Hmm. Can I use my blessing teleportation ability? to teleport and shove Ander, but take the hit for him. Zephira also is caught. That's like I only do one person. I don't know. There's not enough time. Damn. Oh, well. Because just because you passed doesn't mean you don't get hurt. Let me calculate this for a second. I also have to roll uh, for three people. So give me a second. Asner rolled a 20. Bella rolled a 20. Now it's Lissandra's turn. Lissandra rolled a 12. Um... Do you guys want me to tell you what I'm rolling? For damage. Or you just want to hear the number that I've rolled? Just hear tell us the number that I rolled. Okay. For those who did not pass... You take 52 damage. For those who did pass, you take 26 damage. Uh, lightning damage. those who are still conscious you will no longer see the faceless soldier there is however a um Hold on. 
there is a half of a pendant left behind. Where's everyone standing in terms of health? Uh, 68. 46. 64. 14. <laughs> Five. I, I better just do this now. Did, did I break concentration? I did not break concentration. Uh, Healing spirits still in effect. Um, are we still in combat or? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, healing spirits is going to now passively heal everyone up. <laughs> Starting with 8 HP. <laughs> um. Elowen will, if I do lay on hands to Lysandra, will that wake her up? It will stabilize her. Okay, um, I can do, uh, what is it called? She essentially took a Wholeness. Light, like, you, like, for those who didn't, like, get, like, Nick, uh, you basically took a full-on lightning bolt to the face. I can give her 18 HP. Okay. Do you want a cool star? Yes. Okay, then you have a cool star. It'll match the mental scars. Accessorizing. Um, that's all I have. So, whatever else you guys want to do, you guys can. Like I said, the only thing left behind by this creature uh, is a... Not a pendant, but basically like a little medallion. Like half a medallion. I pick it up. Ethelin, being the caring individual as she is, is immediately going to make sure the kids are okay. Okay. So Valerian... Yeah. Oh. No, it's okay. Uh, so Valerian, you, you pick it up. You immediately... Your eyes kind of zone out for a little bit. And you see... Um, these eyes it's like you're shrouded in darkness and you see these eyes but the eyes look like distorted like almost like they're I hate to use this example so you know like the really lame scene in Man of Steel when Kevin Costner's character goes into the twister yeah so that's kind of like, you know, like when he's like halfway through the twister, there's like that little bit of distortion. That's kind of what these eyes look like. They're like behind like a, like a torrent. And you just hear a voice say, I found you. My one mistake. Am uh, oh, sorry. Oh no, no, please, please go ahead, sir. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't. No. My master has unleashed me. Please be prepared. I want to sat. I want to feel satisfied as I suck your corpse dry. Is Valerian able to speak back? Yes. Okay. 
with a slight chuckle. No. I found you. And guess what? Straight back to hell! And the vision vanishes. So now, to, uh, to the children. Uh, the children are safe. Um, they're, uh, not, uh, badly injured, because I'm just going to assume that Alina maybe put them into the basement whenever the storm started brewing. Regardless... Ellen is going to put a hand on each of their shoulders and each spend uh, her third level spell slots to heal cure wounds. Cool. So like all the little like scratches and stuff they've received uh, over the past few days even oh, they've been healed. Uh, Elowen will fish two gold coins out of her pocket and look at both of the kids and say, These are my two luckiest coins. Oh, I'll take give her a weird side look. <laughs> Elowen will give the look back, like, please just play along. <laughs> the kids grab the coins and they hold it really tight. Thank you, Miss Elowen. <laughs> you were both very brave. Yeah, she doesn't hand those out to just anyone. Evelyn, these are lucky. Them. I know, you don't even share them with me. That's just how lucky they are. Wink. Evelyn will hand <laughs> a gold coin to Evelyn. <laughs> This is my other lucky gold coin, Evelyn. But Evelyn, you have so few. Please keep it. <laughs> <laughs> the kids laugh. They're entertained. Do you both like wolves? Asner, like, brightens up. Bella's a little weary, but she isn't hiding behind her brother. I have three, and they're all very nice. What about moths? And then there's a few moths you're not going to have to flutter around. Bella said, Bella opens her mouth. Mama said that moths eat clothes and that we need to be careful but also revere and respect them. <laughs> she isn't wrong. Um, they eat much more than clothes but uh, these ones are well behaved. Right. She's gonna give him all like the moths a stern look. <laughs> the moths are all like, "Yeah, bless." <laughs> um, Adel Wolf walks over to both Asner and Bella and sniffs, and to uh, Elowen, Adel Wolf says, "They are so small." They are. Would you mind giving them both a ride? <clears throat> he lowers his head. And both uh, Bella and Asner uh, get on his back. Elowen will uh, give Adelwolf the command to run as fast as he can. Safely. He, he was just about to go as fast as he could. And then he's like, uh, oh yeah, okay. And so Within he, limits. <laughs> he still goes pretty quick, uh, but he's still visible. <laughs> okay. Sandra's like, I need to stop going on these missions with you. You're the one who wanted to tag along to begin with. Well, because I like enjoying my time with you. Uh, oh! 
Elowen will very quickly excuse herself from the area. <laughs> but like, I nudge meant, Evelyn. I meant, I meant, uh, in, 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 Oh, you, you in, said what you said. No, I meant, that's not, I, oh boy. It's all right, I get it. I... I don't think you do. You're just a little dense in that area. But also, I didn't mean for it to slap off here. Um, I'm a thief. I steal things. I'm a dark elf. I'm known to steal things because racism. So... It's weird for me that I let things slip out that were supposed to be under lock and key. Uh, I'm saying uh, a lot right now because I've almost died about seven times since knowing you. And I'm willing to die for you seven more times. Well, how about you don't do that for me? Because I'd much prefer you alive. I also much prefer me alive, to be honest with you. Yeah, that, that's, that's totally fair. Evelyn has, like, no idea how to process this. <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn, do you want my lucky coin? I said you can keep it! <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn will throw a coin at Evelyn and hit her in the knee. <laughs> Steve? I need Steve to, like, to pop up. I need you to take this. I need your brothers and sisters to take these. She reaches her full coin pouch to like throw these bunch of coins in the air for them to catch. And I need you to pelt her with these. <laughs> they all, if, if moths could smile, <laughs> they would. And you see them all like freaking fighter jets. <laughs> oh, and Ducks, but is laughing about it. <laughs> Lissandra just smiles and just says, I'm not expecting a yes or anything. I'm just, I think seeing all of, and she gestures like their surroundings, all of this and everything that's happened in the past few days and months. I think I just wanted to get that off my chest. So whatever your choice is, I'm an adult. I've been an adult for a while. I'm not going to be offended. So, you do whatever you think you need to do. I've already done everything I think I need to do. I'm going to take a nap when we get back into the cart with the crazy bird man. That's entirely fair. I, um, I'll get back to you with that answer. That's, That's just, this is a bit much for oh, I know. me. Yeah. I know. And she just goes to the cart. And presumably just base plants at the cart. Is there anything else anyone else want to do? Yeah, how many coins was that? Because Elwin's going to keep them. Uh, uh, let, me roll, let, me, let me roll. Let me roll d20. <laughs> <laughs> 20 coins because that's a nat 20. <laughs> Were they gold or what? I'm going to say silver. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I'll take that back because one, the one gold coin you gave me plus the 19 silver coins. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anzer, for joining us. I hope you had a wonderful time.
if y'all uh if y'all want to edit here we can just end it here because this is all i have no, no, probably so if anything, uh, huh that'd probably be the best because i got nothing right now okay no, no, what a note to end on nor does my brain want a brain <laughs> Yeah, I do it with the brain either. So, uh, very quickly though, Elowen is gonna go check on Valerian. Okay. Never mind, Valerian's dead. Me too. Well, shit. The amulet got him. <laughs> I got him first, on the. And I wasted my spell slots on the kids, <laughs> so I can't catch Revivify, and are just left, and he has the Revivify scroll. This is, isn't going great now, is it? Good news. That's is hard. Sandra has yet to stay dead. That whole a body, man, coming in clutch. Alright. When we come back next time, we'll start off right where we left off. I'll actually have to write something this time. I haven't had to do that in like four weeks. <laughs> uh, for those who uh, aren't reading, uh, Valerian pockets the pendant, checks on the kids, gives them a mysterious note, and goes to the cart, a longing eye back on the burned village behind him. And Ella's going to stand there, very confused, trying to process all this. Oh, I am genuinely sorry. I did not let mean it for it to slip out. I was way into character, and it came out. The heart wants what it wants. <laughs> so, so um, sorry. Oh, I, I, I will say as well. Elwyn wanted to check on Valerian. Um, and give him a hug. Valerian said that he would allow it. So, Elowen gives Valerian a very big hug. And Steve gives a pat-pat. Steve <laughs> always gets a pat-pat. If he doesn't no, get he a pat-pat... No, he gives a pat-pat. He, he gives a pat-pat oh, to Valerian. Sure. He, wants to he also gets a pat-pat. Yeah. Alright. Well, Kids are looking a little sleepy, so I'm gonna take them to the cart. Take him, take him off the back of Adelwolf and <laughs> okay, kids. Uh, Adelwolf is also looking kind of tired, so all the wolves and stuff go to their little dimension. Um, and yeah, so that's where we're gonna end it here. Uh, when we start back up, we will be traveling back to Polera, and who knows what wacky antics are gonna be going on. So, have an awesome day if it's a day where you get where you are at, and a good night. Bye. Bye. Good night.